As soon as its creation, the tour explored the territory of Vendée. It would become a stage town at Les Sables d'Olonne in the 20s and in La Roche-sur-Yon in the 30s, where Roger Lapépi captured the third stage victory before celebrating his final triumph in Paris in 1937. Vendée would then be put aside between World War II and the 70s when the region was again visited by the tour and was proudly represented by an ambassador of choice in the peloton, Jean-René Bernodeau. Ten years as a pro and promising debuts on the tour wearing the yellow jersey at the time when he was a teammate and then rival of Bernard Hinault. He was a key asset in the development of cycling in Vendée. Bernardo established in the Manoir des Essars the first cycling youth system with his Vendée team where young riders would mix with pros on a daily basis. That's where the heart of Vendée cycling would really beat. For 25 years now, Vendée is regularly the theatre of grand départs of the Tour de France. Le Puy du Four hosted a prologue in 1993 and in 1999 would discover the Passage du Gois. In 2011, for the inaugural stage of La Grande Boucle, the area welcomed a spectacular finish at the top of the Mont des Alouettes on the common of Les Herbiers. A climb made for punches, the speciality of Philippe Gilbert, first yellow jersey on Vendée soil. <laughs>